What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing fantastic today. My name is Ty Sin here with Repair My Funnel, and today we're going to be walking you through the whole process here of sharing your funnel from ClickFunnels Classic to 2.0. Now, this wasn't exactly something you could just easily do up until a couple days ago during FHL when they released a new extension called Barnum PT. Now, I created a whole video walking through Barnum PT and the extension that you can use within your browser and how it works and all that fun stuff. So, check that video out if you haven't already. Um, it will be uploaded around the same time as this one actually. So check it out. It is a fun time. Now, Barnum PT allows you to share different funnels from ClickFunnels Classic to 2.0. It will let you clone the pages and basically go over to ClickFunnels uh, 2.0 and, and share it directly in there. Uh, it will also share over Go High Level pages at this moment in time. I believe they're planning on expanding that even further for stuff like Elementor or Wix. Um, that's what at least it sounded like. So pretty fun stuff. All right. Now with that said, let's go and dive into my screen here. I'll walk you through the process of actually using and implementing this tool for this whole process. It's going to make this a lot faster. So you don't have to go through and manually one by one page by page, add everything <laughs> very granular by like adding, <laughs> piecing together the pages one at a time, element, element by element. This will speed up the process by far. All right. Now, to do this, let's head into Classic first. All right, so I'm in Classic right now. I'm using one of my uh, certification funnels here. If I go in and click on the uh, the link to open it up in a new browser, we will then be able to actually activate Barnum PT by clicking on the little hat icon there. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and click on save page as copy. All right, uh, from there, confirm that this page actually belongs to you. Obviously, don't just go around stealing people's pages. Um, that is just not cool, you know, be cool, just be cool. All right, uh, anyways, from there, go ahead and create a copy of the page by clicking on copy page. After that, what we have to do is head directly to ClickFunnels 2.0, click on create funnel, and from here, we're gonna go ahead and click on start from scratch. Now, if you're not sure how I got to the funnel page, over here on the left-hand navigation, there's an option for funnels. Just click on that directly, and then just click the button right there to uh, create a funnel, all right? After that, click on start from scratch, and then go ahead and give this guy a name. We'll call this new, actually, we'll call this um, survey funnel from classic. All right, and then from there, go ahead and click on create funnel. And after that, once it loads, we're gonna go ahead and add a brand new step to this sequence with a brand new page, uh, nothing on it, no template, none of that. Uh, from there, we're gonna go ahead and call this step, uh, let's see, what is this? Survey <laughs> step one, there we go. Gotta recall what I was doing for a second there. All right, click on create step, or create page. After that, go into the editor for this page and you should see, uh, as long as you have Barnum PT added, which you should at this point, um, you should see his face over here at the top right next to yours. After that, click on it directly and you'll see two different options. You'll see an option to uh, view copy pages or wireframes. So technically you could go over here and just create a wireframe instead of the entire page, which would be basically just like the structure of the page itself uh, with like a two column row here, or a one column row here. Like it'll, it'll lay it all out with not, uh, or without bringing all the additional content and images over at the same time. All right, so anyways, with that, let's go into the editor here and we're gonna go ahead and click on copied pages. And the one we're gonna select is the one we just created, which was this one right here. It even stores it with date and time, which is fantastic. But um, give it a moment or two, it's doing its magic. And once it's done, we should see that all the components are brought over, at least majority of them. I, obviously the survey element itself is gonna be a little funky because uh, we haven't actually created a survey inside of 2.0. Oh, okay, the background image is a little weird, it needs to be adjusted there. Let's see, if we go to background, no repeats, get rid of that maybe. Oh, there we go, okay, fixed, boom, just like that. All right, so everything was brought over, <laughs> which is awesome. If we go to the pop-up, what's in there? There we go, everything except for the survey element and uh, obviously the button doesn't make any sense either because we'd be using an actual survey. But um, yeah, that's it, brought the elements over. It kept it pretty much in line, Let's, looks good. That's it, that's all we gotta do. Actually, looks like the font's a little bit different. What's that? Headline, pop-ins, and that is also pop-ins. Okay, so technically it did bring over the same style as well, which is fantastic. But anyways, that's it. We just basically have to go back and forth piece by piece, uh, not piece by piece, but page by page, by just going over here, copying that specific page, bring it over to 2.0, and um, just 
repeat that process until you have the entire funnel brought over and uh, go through it again make sure everything is functioning correctly make sure the buttons are set up like you see here this is still set up to open a pop-up but make sure like all the other things are still there and um, functioning as intended now if you need help with that or any of this process at all make sure to let me know down below or just reach out to us we'll be happy to help you out and make sure this is as smooth as possible and everything is brought over. Or if you need help testing your funnels after you shared them over, that's fine as well. Let us know. I'm happy to do so. All right. Um, now I'll just give you a little sneak peek as far as what we cover in another video uh, around Barnum PT. You can install this right here uh, under app.barnumpt.com forward slash install. When you go here, if you don't already have an account, it'll make you create an account first. Uh, and then from there, you should be brought to this page right here where you can then view a, a whole video walking you through the installment process uh, and getting set up here uh, with whatever version that you decide to go with, all right? So there's that. Personally, I'm, I'm currently using the Chrome version, the Chrome pre-release version, but uh, hopefully this one gets uh, rolled out here in the near future. And that's it, all right? Hopefully this helps. Again, if you have any questions about any of this, let me know, let us know. Put a comment down below and we'll point you in the right direction. Whether it's for ClickFunnels Classic 2.0 or Barnum PT, uh, we got your back. All right, have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll talk to you later and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.